I remember one day I'm in front uh, of Kmart talking on the payphone, and some guy comes out pushing something, like a lawnmower, and the wind came and blew the receipt off it. And I eyeballed the receipt, and I go, oh, my, that's my spot. And I took the receipt. <laughs> it was a $400 lawnmower. So I went into the Kmart, and they didn't have any more of those lawnmowers. So I went into the lawnmower store, and I went to Kmart and Longmont. <laughs> that's how fucking a professional I was. Got a thing, wheeled it in. I just put it. I even asked the guy for help. <laughs> oh, because it was out front? Yeah, it was out. I took the receipt that was yeah. on the floor. I drove to Longmont, 10 yeah. minutes away, with zero dollars, with the the thing press and E. Guess, and yeah. E don't mean enough. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> E's not enough. Gotta leave town, got another apartment. It's bad on my rent, girl, you know I enjoy it. You go in and out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I have to do. But this fucking warrant in Seattle is a nightmare. It's a fucking nightmare. What do you mean? What's the warrant? It's for? a 22 year old warrant for not going to anger management class. Oh my God. But they turned it into a felony, but oh. it's non extraditable. Oh. So they won't come get me. So you can't go to Washington? I just can't go to Washington. We have, a, we have a little deal. We won't come fuck with you. You don't fuck it. If I get pulled over for a license check and they say you have a warrant in Seattle, it won't even come up. You just say, thanks, officer. I'll go check that out. Yeah. like in, No, the warrant's only in Seattle. Oh, it's uh, not uh. nationwide. So that's the problem I have. That's the, the whole fucking so, thing. Unbelievable. Yeah, what do you do? I got you... a warrant in Idaho. What's that one what? for? Twin Falls. What? For like misdemeanor assault <laughs> on a triple run. So <laughs> another 20 years ago? How long ago was that 95. one? 95. Okay. Uh, if, if you met... It was the... on fire in 95. So there's only two <laughs> states you can't go to. There's only two. And they're right next to each other. That's not bad. Oh, yeah. Washington? No, Idaho and Washington. It's oh, yeah, Idaho, right? Idaho yeah. and Washington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both Taco Tuesday. I got shoplifting, too, in Twin Falls. What? I got a shoplifting assault. That's to be expected, the shoplifting. You were a shoplifting and assaulted somebody? On those triple runs. I would shoplift across the country, Jack. It's the only way you could afford to do them. That's the only way you could afford to do them. So you go into Kmart in those days. <laughs> yeah. A couple you mac and cheeses. <laughs> no, you go into the back and you took a, a blanket. Something Someone should cost, do a movie on Trimble Run. Something that, like yeah, something that costs one twenty nine, And you bring it up to the thing, and you go, yeah. my mother got me this, I already got it, I don't like it. And I go, well, what do you want? Do you want store credit? Ah. Do you want cash? Ah. I'll take the cash. And they give you one twenty nine plus tax. So it's like For one, something you got from the back. Yeah, something you stole and brought back. I wouldn't even walk out of the store. Uh, that was my question, but you wouldn't even leave the store. I wouldn't even leave the store. You would just go in with it. Go in with it. It was pre it was tagged. So anywhere I would do a triple run, yeah. my license wasn't in the computer yet. See, in Boulder, my license was already in the computer. I would do it in Boulder at the Kmart right by my house. Anytime I was busted, I'd just go to Kmart. And then they started asking for IDs and breaking my balls. I remember one day I'm in front uh -oh. of Kmart talking on the payphone. And some guy comes out pushing something, like a lawnmower, and the wind came and blew the receipt off it. And I eyeballed the receipt, and I go, oh, my, that's my spot. And I took the receipt. <laughs> it was a $400 lawnmower. So I went into the Kmart, and they didn't have any more of those lawnmowers. So I went into the lawnmower store, and I went to Kmart in Longmont. <laughs> that's how fucking a professional I was. Got a thing, wheeled it in. I just put it. I even asked the guy for help. Oh, because it was out front? Yeah, it was out. I took the receipt that was yeah. on the floor. I drove to Longmont, 10 yeah. minutes away, with zero dollars, with the, the thing press and E. Guess, and yeah. E don't mean enough. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> E's not enough. And I would go to Kmart and Longmont, <laughs> take the same lawnmower, put it on a cart, push it. I even had the kid help me. And I brought it, man, I bought this yesterday. I don't want it. <laughs> All right. Well, you want your cash back? Yeah, 460 something dollars. I would do that constantly. When espresso machines <sighs> were big, Remember when the espresso blew yeah. in 93? So this, nobody's really using credit cards back then. Most people are using cash, right? That's I have no idea. Right. Nobody was using cameras. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's Nobody the was key. using cameras yet. That's the key. When those espresso machines were hot, they went for 250 a piece. So small. I would just be driving and see a mall, and I would just pull over. Remember when VCRs <laughs> were like $800? Yeah, and I'd go into a mall. Money. I'd go into a mall. I'd go into a fucking whatever store they had. I'd pick up an espresso machine, bring it up to the counter. I bought this... Doesn't do cappuccino. Okay. Anything else we can? No. We you want your money back? Yeah. 
<laughs> and they give me my fucking money, and I do business with store. you. You guys are always great to work with. From my my <laughs> season started, my thievery season started <laughs> December fifteenth, and it ran till Valentine's Day because that's how long. Season like just getting ra- just revved casing up? places. Yeah, yeah good question. <laughs> preseason, it's a cold winter. Read, read a lot of penny savers. It's and a cold Sears catalogs. winter because that's return season. All right. So you can return shit without receipts. You got till about January fifteenth to walk in with a fucking tank. Right. And go, I got this for Christmas. My mom said she bought it here. She lost a receipt. <sighs> if it's in a box, they're going to give you the cash back. Joe, you're the best. But then February, March, you're fucked. And I would go into the toy store with my daughter. Yeah, really? I would walk into the Toys R Us. Wow. <sighs> get like a fucking computer, bring it up. They'd give me $115 in Jeffrey money. I'd take that for one fifteen. I'd buy toys. And while I was buying the toys, I'd tell them that I bought this the day before. <laughs> I remember walking in there with no money, walking out of there with a bicycle, with a helmet, a computer for my daughter. It was fucking crazy. But that's what I had to do when I started comedy. Sure. I respect to that. To make it happen. And I, I would just do that. it across the triple runs. Just grind it, homeboy. I would go to triple runs and just bring tents back. <laughs> On all those Kmarts, I just got like $100 tents. Here you go. And they go, wow. okay. And I had like three tents in my trunk because on those triple runs, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. You might have to take a tent one night. Fuck it. I got a tent in my truck. On trial for his wife getting murdered, makes a special request to the judge. I want to wear a Tony Romo jersey. Oh, yeah. For um, what? His execution? No. No, just for his trial for murdering oh. his wife. Turns out yeah. his previous two wives have also been murdered under suspicious circumstances that he got off on, on one of them. The other I know one's the still under circumstances suspicion. rooting for the Giants. Yeah. And his argument is like, I'm a big Cowboys fan and Romo's my guy. <laughs> this guy literally loved his ex-quarterback more than all three of his ex-wives who he killed. Hired a hitman to kill his sixth wife. And then killed the hitman. He's killed three other wives? Or three other wives have been murdered? Three other wives died under mysterious circumstances. And he hired a hitman. He's not doing it himself. Wow, this guy did it. Some people just don't. What does he look like? I want to see if you know this guy's coming. He later pled guilty to messing with a, what was it? 1986, yeah, okay, wife's okay. death was ruled a suicide. Yeah. Wife pled guilty that, to intimidating a witness. Wife after that dies. Wow. And then now this wife dies under mysterious circumstances. Is that him right That's there? That's him? He looks like fucking Twin Peaks, man. Oh, yeah, dude. He looks like the saddest tranny you'll ever meet in your hey, life. That's your Cowboys fans, idiot. That's your team. Yeah, he's right one there. of them. That's, that's, that's not the standard. No, that is the standard. Look yeah. at that. That's oh, no, that, Tony is, Robo's that is grandma. a Cowboys fan. That's look a Cowboys fan. But I'd rather have that. Fucking guy. Look at that guy. Look at those eyes. Six Six people. Eyes. Doesn't it look, it re, if you take away the beard, it really looks like a cat lady grandmother. Yeah. Like, if it wasn't yeah. for that beard pan back, I would actually argue that that's a woman. Yeah. Sands the beard. Wow. Move it up. Crop out her beard. Good. Nose down. No, no, no. Other way. <gasps> oh, no. Just get the nose up, I mean. Sorry. Oh, I see. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Mm. It's a pretty lady. Is it? It's not a pretty lady. That looks no, like it's grandma. Pretty, it's no, like, it's like, oh, Nana, nah, nah, I miss you, Nana. Nah. What jersey would you wear to your trial? That's what I was asked oh, on Twitter great. this week. I thought it was great. You know what? I represent the future. So, how about Ezekiel Elliott jersey? Okay. It's be a long time. No, well, Dak Prescott. That's well, he'll be the quarterback for ten years. I'm gonna wear a Dak Prescott jersey. Pretty good chance one of those two idiots wears that same jersey in their trial. So what I, about you? <laughs> I would probably go Bo Jackson, but for some reason, I want to do Sean Kemp, fucking Seattle SuperSonics, or oh, yeah. fucking Rashid Wall- oh. Wallace. So you're Trailblazers. So I you're assuming either. that your trial is for uh, for child support. Yeah. Either way, man. <laughs> I'm going all in. I'm going all in. Remember, were you in Seattle during the fucking Rain Man days when he was like no. Sean Kemp and fucking Gary no, Payton? No, I just got there as they disassembled. Oh man, those that was. What jersey team. would you wear? What jersey, jersey is depends what I did. Okay. Oh, I like your I like your scenarios. Depends oh, he's got a whole do. system here. Uh, shoplifting rest- a lawnmower. Good one. <laughs> the guy who uh, gambled his way out of the NFL from Indianapolis Colts. What oh, what's his name? Hey. Arch Leitzer. Oh yeah, that was just saying, what a couple number of people was he? Fucking death. <laughs> he was zero. That's his the fucking number. If I stabbed somebody, I got a drug conviction. I wear a Lawrence Taylor shirt. Okay. Right. Yeah. Good. 
Okay, stop. Why? If I murdered Tom. my wife, I wear a Snowy Joey shirt. I'd walk in there with a Joe Montana shirt. I respect 16. the fuck. Uh, are we going? Are we going San Francisco or Kansas City Chiefs San or Notre Dame? Oh. Throw God so, in it. Yeah. See, I grew up in numbers in New York. That's a a solo booking operation can make a hundred grand a year, four hours a day, betting numbers, booking numbers. It's yeah. Three numbers, but in New York they have three numbers. This is all illegal. You have the Jersey number, the Brooklyn number. Then you have the what? New York number what? where you could bet one number. So you could put five dollars on three to come in first. And then how much do you bet if you how much do you so get? So five dollars you win twenty five hundred on the number. What? Five dollars? Five dollars. You, you go bet- up to hundred and eighteenth street up in Harlem and you go to Little Bolita, they call Bolita. Wait, so for five bucks on one number? Yeah. On, on yeah. one number? Tax free. No, 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 no. How much do you got on the one number? 604. 619, 916. Okay. But you're betting on the first number, whatever the first There's number is. There's also a lottery for that. These are all street lotteries. Oh, that's what that I was run at. by bookies. And so, well, so what this was. I'm doing $5 on all the f- numbers. So let's say you put $5 on 416. 416 as a number. $5 straight in box. Yeah. So it costs you $10. You win $5 is 2500 another 5 on. So you win 5000 on $10. Uh huh. You follow me? That's yeah. what you win. On the individual numbers, I think it's it's a little less. The odds are a little less. So you want to bet the last number. But my point being that I saw how they took the lotto, the state, moved into the illegal bookmaking. When I was a kid, it was Saturday college football and Sunday pro football. Yeah. And Monday night. Yeah. That's it. That's yep. it. Then the bookies That's realized, Thursday, Friday. Friday. fuck Thursday night. We're going to have... College Thursday night. Then they told college, to fuck you. You read those revenues. We're going with pro on Thursday yeah. night. Yeah. So it's like Jesus. They stuck a nail in his hand on Thursday. Yeah. They stick. Then you, <laughs> then you bet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Gambling is a weak fucking thing. They staple your hand and your head every day. So Thursday you lose. They put a nail in your foot. Then you try your luck at college basketball on Friday. They staple your other foot. Then college football, you have three opportunities. You got the morning game, the late game, and if you're a real loser, you got Hawaii to bail on. Right. That's when you buy a gram of blow because Hawaii's covering. Hawaii yeah. hasn't covered since 1932. <laughs> and the only thing you're working on is that when a team plays at Hawaii, they don't go to Hawaii to play football. No. They get so mesmerized by the palm trees. Yep. So that's why people bet Hawaii. And the long flight. And the long, and the long flight. flight. Yeah, yeah. We did a, a comedy festival in Maui. Nobody did well. And there's decent crowds because everyone's fucking on the beach all day, having a good time. You're all sun dry, and you're just like, I don't know. Yeah, if you're an East Coast team that's playing Canadians Hawaii and football, well. you're on a plane for an entire day. Yeah, you you, you take time Hawaii. And you're like, oh, it's amazing. We're in Hawaii. Hawaii's getting like, 44. I'm betting those motherfuckers. Yeah. and you're like, but I'm in, but I'm in a fucking a, a game that means I might be ranked 17th if we win. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go out and go to the beach.